Hi, welcome to SIDS Tips. Thank you so much for joining me today. And in this video, I wanna share with you a video Arian Helder, the inventor of the FlexBeam, has put together, talks about EMFs, comparing the FlexBeam red light therapy product to the Juvgo and also his cell phone. It's rather interesting. Now also be sure to click on the link in the description down below, as well as in the comment box with the website where you can learn more about the FlexBeam Order It the current promotion and the discount code to use to save uh, on the FlexBeam and take advantage of that discount. So hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. What I'd like to show you today is how much EMF comes from different devices and how we measure that. We use a device called a spectrum analyzer to measure these radio signals. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cell phone in my test box. It's made of stainless steel, it's a double layer, and then we close the lid and the top. And over here we have 2.433 gigahertz. This is the Wi-Fi band. So because my cell phone is in there, it's trying to connect on Wi-Fi and we can see that by the Wi-Fi peaks that we get over there. We also will get some cellular peaks over here probably around 800 or so. Oh, you can see now it's transmitting. Currently, you can see the accumulated emissions of this cell phone. I use the peak hold function to see where does it transmit at which frequencies and uh, how powerful are those transmissions. A cell phone gives a lot of EMF emissions. Here we have a flex beam. I'm gonna put it in the most powerful setting, setting three, and hit play. And I'm gonna put it in the box and close the box. There it goes. Click. Extra shielding. This is what the spectrum looks like with the flex beam inside. It is very much significantly lower than what we get from a cell phone. And the only thing that we're still getting here is we're getting a little bit of Wi-Fi that's leaking into the box but it is not emitted by the FlexBeam because the FlexBeam doesn't have Wi-Fi. Well, how does that compare to another device? Because of course, we're not the only red light device on the market. Okay, FlexBeam. And then here, we're going to make a comparison, EMF, between the Juvgo and the FlexBeam. So I'm gonna turn it on, and then we're gonna put it inside. I'm going to close the lid. Make sure we got nothing in from outside. We're going to get the accumulated reading. So the yellow line is the flex beam. We can omit this because this is a Wi-Fi signal. This does not come from the devices, not from the Juve and not from the flex beam. Uh, but the rest of there, you can see there's a very significant difference between Juve and flex beam. The Juve Go peaks at around 650 megahertz. But I think it uh, speaks for itself. We have done a lot to keep our devices quiet and low EMF as possible. 